This gazebo was already in the backyard when we bought the house. However, it sat right where the new workshop is going to be built. We wanted to keep the gazebo intact, so I moved it to another part of the backyard by jacking it up on rollers and pushing it to its final spot. Next, I lifted it up about a foot and a half onto cinder blocks and leveled it. It's been sitting there for a while, and while we continue to wait for the building permit to get approved for the new workshop, I decided to make the gazebo look like it belongs. So, in this video, I'm going to build a lattice frame to cover up the underside of the gazebo and surround it on the ground with bricks. The gazebo is an equal octagon. Each of the corners is 135 degrees, but that's not the number I'm using. Each of the faces will need to meet up nicely, so the angle I'm working with is 22 and a half degrees. So let's get started. I used an angle finder to adjust the blade on the table saw to the correct angle. The angle guide on the saw isn't accurate, and if I undercut the angle, you'll see a gap at the seams. I lined up the fence to cut off just the corner of the boards. From the front, they'll still have the same width. I ripped enough length of board to build the vertical part of the frames. Each side will have two vertical pieces, so I cut 16 pieces slightly longer than needed. I'll cut down each face to custom fit its final spot. I used the first piece as a template for all the others, but since each piece will get trimmed down again later, I wasn't too precise with these cuts. Each side of the gazebo measures 4 feet. In order to get the length of the horizontal piece, I subtracted the width of two vertical pieces from four feet. These cuts were made accurate because there isn't an option to trim this dimension down later on. With all the frame pieces cut, I could now trim down the lattice. I mocked up a frame and got a measurement of how much of the lattice to trim off. I used that measurement to set up the fence on the table saw and trimmed all the lattice. Since lattice is plastic, the table saw cuts through it like butter. I again mocked up a frame and took a measurement for the horizontal length of the lattice. The lattice will be on the back side, so it doesn't have to be the full length, just enough to overlap the frame so it can be attached and you won't see the edges. I measured from the outside edges of the lattice, so trimming the pieces just meant cutting out a bit of the middle. Once the first pieces were cut, I used those as templates for the rest. All right. With all the pieces cut out, it was time for assembly. I laid out all eight frames face down and put the lattice on the back, making sure that the more cleaner looking side of the lattice was also face down. My plan was to staple the lattice to the frame, and instead of connecting the horizontal and vertical parts of the frame to each other, I would just use the lattice to hold it all together. I tested the staples I'd be using to make sure they would hold well enough and to check that the staples wouldn't pop through the other side. The reason for not connecting the frame to each other was because this whole thing is cosmetic. It'll never be under stress, so making it super structurally strong seemed unnecessary. The portion of the frames that will be visible got a few fresh coats of white paint to match the lattice. A few of the cinder blocks supporting the gazebo were sitting a bit too close to the edge. So in order to be able to put the lattice in the right spot, I had to push a few of the cinder blocks back. I went around with a scrap piece and checked all the blocks to see which ones needed adjusting. Most of them were already good to go. I stacked up a few random blocks to get close to the frame. Then I used a long crowbar with leverage to lift up the gazebo just enough to shift the cinder blocks. In a few instances, I had to scrape out a bit of dirt that had built up behind the block. The gazebo was already level from when I originally lifted it, so whenever I shifted a stack of blocks, I made sure their vertical level didn't change. The next step was to install the mounting pieces. Just like the assembly of the frames, I'm going for a simple but effective method. 
Using some leftover pieces from the frame, I screwed blocks into the backside. The blocks had to sit down far enough to give a place to screw into, but not so far that they would show. Each block got two screws from the backside. Once the mounting blocks were in place, I could mount the faces. I flipped it upside down and marked it on either side where to cut. This would ensure a custom and snug fit. I used a straight board to complete the line and cut it on the table saw. I put one screw through the face into each block. And there you go. One down, seven to go. All the others went on pretty smoothly. I made sure that all the seams were lined up nicely and made any adjustments to make it look good. The cinder blocks behind this one needed to be kicked back just a little bit more. Once all the lattice faces were on, I wanted to surround the entire base with a few lines of brick. There were a few reasons for this. Bricks would conceal the bottom edge of the lattice and improve the overall look. Also, whenever it rains, water from the roof of the gazebo drips off and has created dents in the dirt. Having a solid surface around the gazebo under the roof will lessen the impact that the rain has on the ground. I used a flat edge shovel to smooth out the surface around the gazebo and started lining up the bricks around the edge. I started on the inner layer and worked outward until I had three layers. In order to make the rows of brick meet up nicely at the corners, I marked them at the appropriate diagonal with a pencil. Much like the vertical boards of the frames, the bricks will also be cut at 22 and a half degrees. I cut them using a masonry blade on a circular saw. To shave off a thin layer of brick, I turned the circular saw on its side and used the edge to chip off bits of brick. And it works surprisingly well. Perfect fit. I continued this process all the way around the gazebo. I might be biased, but <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. There's still way more to do to make this area of the backyard look more finished, but this is a good start. In the next video, I'll be building a set of stairs that lead up to the gazebo. That's it for now. See ya.